Greetings, Tubidors. Back again, and so soon after the last submission. Well, I've got to be honest, I had absolutely no thoughts about making another video today, you know, when I got up this morning, but um, YouTube thoughtfully decided to let me know that the uh, the arch dumbass and ex-delivery boy, Nathan, father of the year, Oakley, had <coughs> uploaded another one of his nonsense videos. Um, why father of the year? Well, just in case any of you any of you missed it the first time round, have a look at this. With regards to the reference frame, it moves with regards. I want to get a strop in my kid starts playing with my touch screen. Typical. So the ball no is the thing about. that's moving, Grumpus. I missed that. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Right, go on. careful, careful. So there you go, father of the year. What an outstanding citizen this man is. Now, I don't usually watch any of his content because, to be honest, it makes me angry. Um, the man is only in this for the money. And if you think that's just animosity on, on my behalf, listen to this straight from the horse's mouth. Well, this only bothers me because in reality, I've got to make a living. And Bob's decided to take a dump on that amongst his ad hominins because he thinks I'm a grocery delivery boy, which I haven't done for about two years. I'm a YouTuber and depend on this now to make my living. But Bob, who's about to piss off, leave you all in the dirt apparently because this is a sinking ship, according to Bob Nodal, because you won't dictate what he dictates as reality, then fine, take a crap on my income I'd prefer you just buggered off and don't come back. But there you go. That kind of proves my point about many of these more prominent flat earthers. They're just looking for the bunts, really, aren't they? Anyway, back to the latest insanely retarded offering from Mr. Oakley. Now, get this. All satellites are really balloons. Now, I've, been, I've covered this twice in the past sort of month. Uh, so I'm guessing that he's been watching... Um, Deep inside the rabbit hole's recent offerings. Ditter. Odd name for a channel. Um, but yeah, deep inside the rabbit hole, he's been doing stuff about NASA space vehicles all being balloons and um, no doubt being completely unable to come up with anything original himself. Um, he thought he'd sort of you know, jump on the bandwagon. So this morning, um, he put this out. I'm only going to play a bit of it, but uh, you'll get the general idea, you know? Plans came crashing to the ground. The failed launch of a balloon carrying a multi-million dollar space telescope had onlookers scrambling for safety. Never know what's going to happen. This baby fell out of the sky and landed in our yard. It's this is a superb example of someone who puts a video out with the sole intention of farming comments and likes, uh, possibly a few more subs. Um, now, before any lurking flatterds decide to, to jump on this, of course, we all want subs and comments, you know, but this video, it is genuinely of no value to anybody whatsoever. It doesn't expose any new revelations. It makes no explanation. It gives no insights into anything. It just shows some footage and relies on, you know, a provocative title to draw in the usual mix of, of fools and dumbasses and mouth breathers. Uh, it's just some footage of equipment that's crash landed and anyone can get the reality of this content in seconds. If only there was a method we could use to do this. Like Google. You know, I actually pointed this out in the comment thread, but as is uh, Oakley's usual response to anything negative that I post on his videos, he immediately deletes them. What a prize knob. Uh, oh, yes. More comments from Flatards that I appear to be winding up. Anyway. Um, we'll have a look at the footage of the satellite trolling a car in Alice Springs. We were sitting in our car and uh, 
preparing to move it out of the way and um, we actually we actually were in about within about a foot of being wiped out I think. There was a great slam and there was large pieces of white debris flying through the air everywhere and um, basically that was it. It was just an instance of uh, chaos outside. Just by looking at this footage, Orkley wants his rapidly diminishing band of sycophantic mouth breathers to take it on faith that all NASA satellites are nothing more than balloons and is therefore proof positive that NASA's subterfuge and deceit is, you know, rife. What we're actually looking at is the failed launch of the NCT. Now, NCT stands for Nuclear Compton Telescope. Um, this was intended to be no launched from Alice Springs in Australia, um, I think back in 2010, um, with the intention of it staying in the uppermost part of the outer atmosphere um, in order to search for Y-ray bursts. Uh, most people will probably know them better as gamma rays. Now, it would have stayed up there for about a month or so, since that's about as long as the top-up helium tank lasts on these things, and was supposed to eventually have dropped slowly back to Earth. Now, the whole point of sending it up tethered to a balloon is that the science it needed to do didn't necessitate it having to go into orbit. So by using a balloon, the mission was hundreds of millions of pounds cheaper than strapping it to a Saturn V or, or other such launch vehicle. Unfortunately, the launch gondola didn't decouple when it was supposed to, and the whole shamonga got dragged across the desert and totaled some poor bystander's car. Fortunately, though, I say fortunately, you know, writing off of the car aside, the apparatus of the telescope later proved to be undamaged, um, even though the gondola and the car were write-offs. So, on to Oakley's second proof of NASA's penchant for balloons. Now, this device came uh, crashing to Earth in rural Michigan at the end of October um, of this year, 2019. Now, first off, it has absolutely nothing to do with NASA and is, in fact, a cunning bit of um, self-promotion by Samsung, of all people, to promote their new Galaxy S10 mobile phone. Now, the idea was that uh, a Galaxy S10 was hiked up to about 65,000 feet underneath a giant helium balloon, and then people could send a selfie of themselves to the phone that was attached to the satellite. Now, that selfie would be displayed, then a second camera aboard the satellite would photograph the first one and then send the image back to your phone. The result being that you had a picture of your mug with the beautiful planet Earth in the background. But what was more important to Samsung, I have no doubt, was that you also now had a picture of their beautiful Galaxy S10 5G mobile phone. Now, the whole event was launched to much fanfare at an event that was attended by dozens of F-list celebrities and hosted by the supermodel Cara Delevingne. Anyway, Cara, she was there, hawking herself about, waving the phone, everybody's happy, boosh, Samsung makes a fortune. But the thing is, you see, after this thing had been up there for about a month, um, it was, you know, scheduled to be on its way back about the end of October, uh, where it was going to soft land. But the weather over Michigan took a turn for the worst, so it was decided to make a forced soft landing in a rural area, and it came down in the backyard of Mrs. Nancy Welk. Yeah, a bit of sci-fi hitting home for a Michigan couple when a satellite crash-landed in their backyard, and their reaction? Priceless. You never know what's going to happen. This baby fell out of the sky and landed in our yard. <laughs> uh, Nancy and Dan Welke, cool as cucumbers, discovering a satellite that had crash-landed on their property, still blinking and still attached to a parachute. Turns out the satellite belonged to Samsung. Um, she got to take a stack of footage and be on the local news, and Samsung got a ton of publicity to promote their newest piece of overpriced Taiwanese-built TAT. So, once again, 
there is all the proof you need to validate your opinion that flat earthers are complete tards. One of their five watt bulb leading lights post a video makes a completely unsubstantiated claim about it and the brain dead horde of unthinking lip dribblers all start to wet themselves like excited puppies and can't wait to congratulate Oakley on his magnificent expose of NASA and their massive pot of lies. Oakley, you are a f***ing tit. A massive, pale, saggy, uninformed tit. Uh, when I was looking through the comments to Oakley's video, I did come across um, another video that had been posted by somebody who had commented on his site. Um, and it was about satellite subterfuge. Um, they left a sufficiently fellating comment on Oakley's video. Um, and I was going to feature that second video here. But to be honest with you, it is so mind-numbingly stupid that I could actually feel my IQ drop in as I was watching it. So I, I turned the thing off. You know, there is only so much stupid that you can take in one day. Ah, right then, mein Cariadai, I'm off for a cuppa. I've already got one, but uh, you can never have too many cuppas in one day. Um, if you've made it this far, thank you very much. Um, if you are already a subscriber, I love you, I really do. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Give that little subscribe button a click. I know Thor will be popping up either here or there. He should already be around here somewhere, but a bigger one will pop up. Give that a click. Um, e uh, YouTube will then send you an email on my behalf when my next video gets uploaded. So, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, be nice to each other. Please stay well. I will catch you next time. Hold on.